I'm Alex Nizek, and I'm at Consumer Reports Auto Test Center here in Colchester, Connecticut. And we just bought our brand new 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6. This is a brand new fully electric vehicle from Hyundai. We tested the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the Kia EV6, the Genesis GV60. These are all electric vehicles on the same global platform as this car. So if it's anywhere near as good as those, it's just gonna help build Hyundai's reputation as leaders in the EV space. So Hyundai actually makes it really easy. There are only three trim levels to choose from. You basically choose whether you want rear wheel drive or all wheel drive and the standard range battery or the long range battery. So we got all wheel drive and the long range battery and that cost us $52,975, which includes about $1,100 for destination. One of the first things you wanna know about an electric vehicle is how far it can go. Our car is rated for 270 miles by the EPA with the large battery pack and all wheel drive. But if you get the same large battery pack and just rear wheel drive, it's rated for up to 361 miles. And what's really crazy about that is the Ionic 5, which uses the same 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, gets about 303 miles of range. So Hyundai managed to squeak out over 50 additional miles of driving range just by shaping the car and paying attention to aerodynamics. So it all starts with managing air at the front of the vehicle. First of all, the nose is super low. It slopes down really far. Uh, you also have these active grill shutters here in the front. As the car needs to cool the battery and other systems, these will open and close. These air curtains on the side that allow air to come in here behind the bumper and over the wheel. Even here on the fender, you have this um, piece of plastic here that kind of closes the gap between the tire. As you move towards the back of the Ionic 6, first of all, you notice this teardrop shape you have here with a lot of smooth transitions, kind of comes to this low rear end. So I just really like this approach of focusing on aerodynamics because that mean, means that they didn't have to just add a giant battery to get all this extra range. Hyundai does a really good job of giving the driver control over the regenerative braking system. You have different levels that you can play around with and you can even change the distribution of the all wheel drive system, the power front to rear. Uh, and just overall, it's really smooth to operate. We don't see this too often with EVs specifically, but you can completely shut off stability and traction control in this car. But what that means is that at the safety of a racetrack, you can actually drift this thing pretty easily. Because of the aerodynamic shape of this car, the rear seat space is a little bit tight. Not necessarily in terms of legroom or anything like that, but I'm 6'1", and my head, when I sit up straight, is definitely hitting the ceiling of this car. And the shape means that the trunk space is pretty small too. Overall, the interior of the Ionic 6 is, is pretty good and it's pretty easy to use most things. It is dominated by these two large screens up here on the dash, but they're pretty easy to see, read, and use. Um, and you do have separate controls down here for the climate system, so that's great. Um, and also these paddle shifters here on the steering wheel, these let you um, control the regen braking system, which is awesome in an EV. Uh, but there are definitely some weird things. First of all, you have this gear selector here on the steering column and you twist it back and forth to just select drive and reverse, push it for um, park. And then uh, over here on the center console are the window and lock controls. That's a little weird, takes some getting used to. I was able to get used to it driving this car around, but definitely unusual. And another really weird thing is the mirror adjustment controls are over on the left side of the dash. So that definitely takes some getting used to and is a little bit inconvenient to use. So far, the Ionic 6 seems like a really promising EV, but the early impression is that the Ionic 6 is for that person who really wants to get that extra range, and they're willing to make a couple of compromises to get it. But we'll put it through more than 50 tests here at the Auto Test Center, including avoidance maneuver, acceleration, braking, interior comfort. So check back with us soon on CR.org to see the full road test results of the Ionic 6.